that's all I needed to do. Yep. That's it. Oh, yeah. Probably doesn't matter. I mean, unless you want. <laughs> mine will probably be. Mine will probably be stuffed in park and wreck. Yeah. What's this one? I was wondering if I. Oh, I don't have a whole pack of this. Oh no, this was my other pages. That's what it is. It was that packet? Huh? Was that the packet that went out? I he was that. walking around. She was still putting them together when I got this part. This is the packet from Tim when I walked in the door. Oh. Yeah. Well, you right in front of it. I just realized I set my pages down and thought I had different pages because I'm a silly. Because I'm a silly. I know I remember this one. Oh, four hours. Oh, come on. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. What is this? Oh, yeah. that Brinson Road. Yeah. Uh, Do you want your parking bag? No. <laughs> it's yeah. back in the back in case you ever need to. Oh. Do I need it for this no. meeting? I mean, you don't need okay. it for this meeting. Green. 30 yard dump. Here, give me um. Okay. Well, I'm going to be a bandage crap. I got John Denver for that. I mean, these are. Oh, is that the uh, old thing? This is uh, Avalon Tourism. Okay, I'm trying to. Oh, did you print that out? No, this is Travel and Tourism. Oh, Travel and Tourism. Now I have it stuck in my head. I need one. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. I'm a number them. You could scoop up. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be full. <laughs> no, they got way too much hair. <laughs> so it wouldn't be bad if they took off hey, the asphalt in front of that place. I get to work from home now. Oh, nice. I know, right? Very comfort, very uh, handy. Yeah. Very quickly can yeah. run down and like start dinner. And, I don't know if it's still you know, have it like not, you don't have the half hour commute and then the decompress time before you start cooking. Yeah. You just like, yeah. just run down and chicken out the there in the oven there. while I'm on this call right. or something, you know? So it's kind of handy. I know my daughter loved it when she was working from home. So I'm a grand, my one son in law works from home. Uh, he works for Microsoft built home because they have all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have that too. But I do keep it like in a separate room and I close the door. So I can't look in and go, oh, I should do more. You know, like I just close the door when it's the end of the day and I don't let it like infringe on the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah no. I think for. We're going to be, it's going on Zoom. We're, you're all set to go, Tim? Sure. It's set as well. Can be. All right. Everyone all set? We got one, two, three, four. All right. I'd like to call to order this planned commission meeting for October 29th. Can I get a roll call, please? Uh, Brussel? Here. Hannon? Here. Hill? Here. Hughes? Here. 
Kubiak, and we have everybody. All right, got everyone we have. All right, uh, then moving on to general public comments. The public comment card is required. I have not received any of those. So we can move on to item number four, which is the approval of the minutes from the Planning Commission meeting of the 24th. We'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the 24th. I'll second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Minutes are approved. <clears throat> That'll take us right into item number five, which is the public hearing for the rezone request for 258 Griffin Road. Uh, the parcel number is in here. And uh, the recommendation is to recommend to accept the rezone request at 258 Griffin Road from B2 to R1. So I will open up the comments here. I'll be asking three times for people to speak for and three times for anyone to speak against and opening up that public hearing. Is there anyone wishing to speak for? You would, if you'd like, if you'd like to come up uh, to the microphone right here. Oh. <laughs> you're willing to speak, you're welcome to speak for if you want to. Okay. All right, sounds good. And I'll make a second request for anyone wishing to speak for. And you can tell with the crowd, it might take a while. <laughs> three minutes. Third, third, yeah, <laughs> limit to three minutes, please. The third request, anyone wishing to speak for? But that will close that part out and go to anyone wishing to speak against. Second request, anyone wishing to speak against? And a third ask, anyone wishing to speak against? And with that, we close out the public hearing. It was easy. And uh, Tim, do you have anything for us on this one before we? I guess I can just take if there are any other questions that have come up. I think that uh, it's definitely taking shape and looking more like a residential building with the work that's been done recently. I mean, it, it has validated what I said last month of it really blends in with the rest of that side of the street. Uh, yeah, if there's any other questions. And I just want to make sure, just because I've had so many things go through my head the last few weeks, this is the one we're talking down by the Shepherd's area, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just want to make well, sure I have it right in my head. Yep. All right. Any other questions? Is this the map for it? Yes, that's the map that should have been in the last month one. I thought we had that one. So, well, what doesn't make sense to me is you had mentioned this was a mixed use. Uh, area, but it shows if I'm looking at the map correctly. Oh, B2. Okay, I got her. Got it? Okay. I think I was looking for purple because, oh, that's manufacturing. Oh, that's not mixed. Okay. I'm fine. You good? All right. Just want to make sure. Oh, there we go. Trying to find that same copy. All right. All right. Any other questions or comments? All right. With that, we would look for the uh, someone to move to recommend to accept the rezone request. I'll make a motion to recommend, uh, excuse me, I'll make a motion to accept the rezone request at 258 Ripon Road from B2 to R1. And recommend the council. And I should have had recommend the council. I didn't see that. Yep. Yeah. I will recommend to Common Council to accept the reason request. All right. I second the motion. I am the second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. That'll go on to Common Council before it gets finalized out then. All right. And with that, we move on to item number six, which is the covenant oversight for site alter. alter I said the wrong word, alteration of under an acre at 745 Knopf Road. The recommendation is presentation of proposal and discussion and action as appropriate. I'm guessing you've got the presentation here. Yeah. Um, all right. So I had received these materials from uh, Generac that's just looking to expand the area 
uh, that they are going to be uh, storing the light. I don't exactly know what they're called, the light fixture uh, devices. And uh, this uh, fell under the amount that would automatically have site plan and DNR oversight. But uh, because this is in an area protected by the uh, Covenant North Business Park, seemed like the an appropriate one to at least bring before the plan commission so that uh, you have the opportunity to, so I can tell, uh, prove, or at least say that this can go ahead. Okay. Yeah. That was it. It did go on to County Council, which is two weeks? Second Tuesday. Second Tuesday, yeah. Seven o'clock at night. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Before it's finalized, correct. Yep. Not a, not a problem at all. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't answer that before. All right. Excuse me. All right. Uh, Tim, just a question on any concerns with this at all? Is there anything? Oh, no. No, they went through the setbacks and um, we talked through the essentially the covenants with them. It was just, as I understand, that still should go before this board or this commission. Okay. I admit to being a little fuzzy on covenant oversight. Oh, I had two. That's why this is festive. Um, <laughs> I can you tell me a little bit about what our role is here regarding the oversight of the covenant? Covenants are just artificial restrictions, similar to zoning restrictions, except they're they're more strict or they're more specialized because it's an industrial park. And it, the, the, the park, um, similar to zoning, has rules in it um, that is overseen by the by the plan commission, just like the zoning code would be. But it's just this, it, these are just special covenants that apply. So what are we being asked to do here? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah. So which which section of the covenants are they? Are you following here, Tim? I guess. Is it that the acreage was too small? Is that which one is there something should i only bring it before them if there's a perceived issue with the covenants yeah um, no i mean i think oh it's just said you know why did you bring it here is there something in the covenants that require it to bring it i think so approval of plans or what what section of the covenants are you citing well approval plans Maybe it doesn't. Uh, Section 9A, is that what you're referencing? That's, that's what I was just looking at. Yeah, but that's, I don't think that really applies. That's for a big, that's for building. Oh, so that's, well, then I guess it maybe not then. Just airing on the side of caution here, I didn't. Well, I mean, there is the, that's the site plan. Oh, then, yeah, because I think it's because they're modifying their original site plan. Is that why? Yeah, this would be, I don't think that this was previously approved. Yeah, because they would have had a site plan approved, whether from the covenants or whether from the from the uh, zoning code, both require site plan approval. So any alterations, deviations to that would have to get approval by you guys. Okay. So. Okay, and the deviation is? Oh, they... If you see this fence, they're building this overhead fence one that shows where, yeah, yeah, it's oh, yeah. And he has an application for site plan review. Do you see that section? I, yeah, and I included that in there just because yep. it's closest application. I mean, I have to. That's the piece I'm looking. Yeah, I looked at that, but it's just the strict. Oh, here it is. Addition yeah. of gravel lot with ten feet. Under I do. It is section nine of Kevin. Say that you had said. Yeah, basically a fenced gravel parking lot for storage of materials. Okay. That wasn't there before. Like, what well, was it before, Tim? Or just grassy area? Yeah, I think it's whatever grass, yeah. some trees. Okay. Yeah. So they're just looking to store equipment in that yeah. area. Is that the. Okay. 
I need it on a map because I'm not familiar with Mount Gladian. Um, nope. Do you know where Generac is? Mm -hmm. It's an out just yeah, as you're going out of town. Here. It's north of town. North. Do you know north where Alliance is? Area? Yep. Do you know where Alliance? That's the area. Yeah. Energy is because you, you go across that other Spores Bridge, mm -hmm. and there's the industrial park out to the right. Oh, the northern industrial. It's park. The north yeah. industrial park, yeah. Good map. Gotcha. Also, Generac is like so the business then, that's on the far north doing side. This work for Generac. Yes. Okay, yeah. got it. I don't see anything that concerns me with it. Huh? I don't see anything that concerns me with them storing equipment there. It's all this. Yeah, the squared area. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah but I don't. Problem, but I mean, but... I don't see anything concerning to me. But that's not according to the their covenant? their original site plan. No, it is according to the covenant. So they're just deviating from the plan that was already. Oh, the yeah. one that was submitted a million yeah. years ago. Yes. Yeah, so yep. Yeah. So they're just they're just altering it. So they're required to get site plan approval anytime they change things. So. Okay. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So in this one, is that our approval or does this go? Is this nope, recommended to council? Right here. Just your, right here. Your final approval. This is us. No. Site plan is always just planning commission. All right. So if if you're okay with it, what we'd be looking for is kind of like the site plan is what they're it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 So we'd we'd be looking for the approval of the uh, site al alteration. So does this yes. need uh, common council? Nope, it would be us. Is there additional language that has to go into the site plan because of the change? Yeah, generally, did you? Um, we have sometimes we check with Don on that. And he said, yeah, under the acre, it did not need the the erosion the, controller, um, the stormwater, which if it, but if they do uh, decide to develop further, they will. Okay. But this one would not. Yeah, we'll talk to just. Is the fence going to be like opaque? They're going to screen it the way that they've screened everything prior. Yeah. It, it's going to blend with the rest of the park the way it's supposed to. Okay. Um, well, I will make a recommendation that we re approve the site alteration at 745 Knopf Road Covenant. Got a motion? Motion, make a motion. Thank you. All right, thank you. I'll second that motion. Okay, motion and a second. Any other discussion or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, that is approved. <clears throat> Excuse me. On to item number seven, which is the comprehensive plan discussion. And this is the recommendation to discussion and action as appropriate. I believe this is just kind of opening up talking about the comprehensive plan yes yeah i'm i had been a little unclear as to what's going to be or not be budgeted on this so yep. that dictated the way that this is created but i said i just was looking to start the conversation that if they something is budgeted by council and if we want to have a follow-up conversation on this where that's encouraged um how are we wanting to start that? I have been advised that uh, because there is the WIDA with an H programs for uh, it was vacancy to vitality, restore Main Street, and there's another one about infrastructure that require an updated comprehensive plan after I think starting beginning of 2023 to present uh, that there is a, you can say an incentive to at least updating the housing chapter, which we probably have the materials and the strategy that was approved at the very beginning of last year um, to be able to populate that for the most part. Uh, so this is something we could do on our own without hiring it out is what you're saying? Probably for that chapter, uh, okay. for the whole thing, we probably are going to need to hire out it. I'd say to have it coordinated and then a single voice and not have built-in biases from city staff. Right. And I, 
I, I remember talking about this. I tell you the truth, I can't remember if some money had been set aside for this or not from County Council. Um, I'll have to look into that. I don't remember. Um, but for the chapter you're talking about, the housing chapter, that's something that we could do in house and, and at least update that part. Yeah, probably. And if there's any deficiency, it would be a minor compared to the whole thing. Doing the whole, okay. And so for that, what would you need from us? Just approval to update it or? Yeah, I guess that if that's something that we want to proceed with, then um, we can do that. I didn't necessarily have a, I mean, let's see. Now, would that be your time or your and Matt's time or what would be required for that? No, like I'm involved, am I? So it'd be just, I don't, that'd yeah, be more you filling in. Okay. There's, I'd say that for the housing part, there's probably not a, yeah. I'd say it would be minimal. Okay. Uh, if there's something in doubt, depending on who else is here. Um, yeah. Well, I, we do need to update. I mean, that's for sure. And this is something that we can do without worrying about what the council has approved for a comprehensive plan. So uh, to me, I would say go ahead with the, the housing part. Okay. I'm feeling particularly dumb today. Okay. Could you help? Like, I feel like we jump into these topics as if everybody knows all the nomenclature yeah. and exactly what we're talking about. No problem. Start, please, with first comprehensive plan. All right. Is this the comprehensive city plan for the future? Is this the comprehensive zoning plan? What is the comprehensive plan for? Okay, so the comprehensive plan was the document that, oh boy, um, we've had, it's, yeah, the vision for uh, usually 20 or so years in of the future, I mean, land use, and there are at least seven other required chapters I can. It is a statutory mm -hmm. feature. It's by Wisconsin statute, every city is supposed to adopt a comprehensive plan for the city. Yeah. Categories of of things for purposes uh, that the city is to use for purposes of land use decisions, such as zoning and um, you know, anything that affects that affects land use is supposed to be used as a guide. Um, I don't know all the categories off the top of my head, but housing is one of them. Yes, the, yeah. the housing needs. Yeah, housing and economic development are both future needs. land use plans. So we have a zoning map, which is what is what's allowed, but then there's also a future land use, which is supposed to be what do we want to see this area develop into, and we're supposed to coordinate between the two. So if somebody comes in for a zoning change, does it fit within that future land? That's that's an example of how the plan is used, or or you know, the plan also will say generalizations like we want to. We want to increase our housing. That's and that's more important than doing something else. So, in any decision, you take that into consideration. So that's what the plan is supposed to be. And our plan hasn't comprehensively been done in a long, long time. What is it? Yes, it's I believe overdue. Two thousand eleven yeah. or something yeah. like that. So, uh, and it's budgetary. So what I think you, what you're suggesting is to do as much piecemeal as we can. We got the maps now digitized, sort of. Yeah, I think our zoning map and future land use are both uh, about as up to date as they could be. Yeah. That's been done. Okay. Um, and yeah, I don't have the current future land use, so I can, but I can easily put that into the master plan that we have, okay. and that would replace the previous ones. Uh, ever, otherwise, the master version that we have is, I'd say, a lot of these uh, amendments have been added sort of as a, not an appendix to it, but like attachments to the plan in there. Okay. A little bit of duplication. Ideally, you'd have a planning company come in that mm -hmm. knows how to do the plan, exactly according to statute. Yeah. It would be comprehensively done, and they would guide us through the entire process. So that's a that's a big budget ask. That's so. the, that was the budget, <laughs> yeah, budget issue. So it, we're it, talking about throwing in these kind of things that we did in the past years where we were like creating goals for the city, right? And putting that in place of the housing. Portion. That wasn't what I maybe originally envisioned when we were putting together this agenda, but yeah, I'd say that that probably uh, is a big part of what would be 
at least updating that chapter and that component um, would be making sure that these goals are yeah recognized as I say comprehensive and that would as well be in alignment with statutory regulations. That would be the goal um, for that chapter. You know, that, yeah. The statute really is very general. It just says you gotta you gotta have a plan that covers these this category, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Isn't uh, this, there's not a lot of detail given. Also, on this one says economic development. Isn't that some of the stuff that Bird Rector did too? Yes. It, yes. Involved? Yeah, they that could be looked at also to incorporate it to this chapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that the understanding is that we have. Uh, essentially the at least the contents that you would want for the housing and the economic development chapters they might just need to be um, made yeah or reworded to fit with a more cohesive comprehensive plan but at least we'd be whittling away at what needs to be done yes <clears throat> Excuse me. i mean likewise we probably have some other components out there i mean i think the open space and recreation still is relatively relevant so at least as far as mm -hmm. okay right and victoria that you said you were feeling stupid today no that's you're right sometimes you feel like we're kind of dumped into these and and not knowing everything so i'm with you on that but so for this part we're just saying we're taking this the information we've already gone through and just putting it in here and saying this is kind of what we're looking at it in housing I'd say if that's the will of the commission, then yeah, that can absolutely go forward with that. And there are, is a rationale or two to do that. Okay. I mean, I, I'm good with that as far as updating. When, when we do an overall plan, they're going to take a look at everything anyways. Any opinions from others? As uh, far as I'm concerned, yeah, we should do what we can to update because we are behind on some of that. The last one was done in 2011. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I mean, there's been piecemeal since then. But then comprehensively, I think it was around then. I don't know. So. All I know is that our master one still has 2003 as on the uh, either the header or footer. But I, yeah, I do think that everything went, they went through it in 2011. Yeah, because it sounds real familiar to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do have a comment on the last page that says, staff believes it's an opportune moment to review the progress of the goals outlined in the most recent plan, as many have advanced since its publication. When you say the most recent plan, are you speaking of the outdated? Oh, I'm talking about the housing economic development strategy. That's the next item. That's just, uh, yeah, this was the one that Beer Bicker did. No, that's number eight on Oh. Right. Right. So as far as comprehensive plan discussion, we we can't make that decision to do a comprehensive plan anyways, because that has to come from council for budget hearing. <laughs> so we'd be looking at doing this part for now and then talking to council and saying, hey, we need to put a plan together. Is that kind of what you're thinking? I, I think that moves things along, so that should work. All right. Sounds good to me. I mean, council is going to have to make a decision on how we get that comprehensive plan done anyways. I think, you know, it's a, on a proposed uh, building with the apartments and other things. I think this housing one could be reviewed quite easily, right? With the things that we've done? You know? Yeah, I think that it just yeah, it seemed like a good time to bring this back to the attention of the plan commission. There's really nothing more that I think I was proposing here. Just kind okay. of, and I too should take a look and maybe can come back in a future month and say how <laughs> my opinion, or uh, I can get other staff opinion as to how everything's coming along, especially in light of who's responsible and partners. Okay. Yeah. I, I... I'm good with it, moving ahead with something. Do you have another question? Well, didn't we also do some work on zoning mapping, um, future land maps? Because we changed some streets. We changed the Street area. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
And we were talking kind of like we've done some work on some of we were talking at that time to try to split it up in quadrants and spend time and really look at those maps okay that could still be done too okay we we just did that temporary fix or not temporary that band-aid fix for washera street recently mm -hmm. because we were thinking about doing the entire northeast quadrant and we didn't do that we just because we didn't have time yep. and so but that is something that could be done and that is something that theoretically would be done as part of this comprehensive of that. But again, whether to do that stuff piecemeal or not, I don't, you know, we can. It's, but it, it's up to him being able to bring it and do it on a, you know, just splitting up all that work because it would, it would, it's going to take many hours. Okay. So, but if we started with this, like you said, that could go into that comprehensive yep. and, and we'd be whittling away the total expenses on that part. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. I have a question. Yep. I'm a little confused here. Okay. Um, okay, so is this separate from the Burbecker report? Uh, you talking about the comprehensive plan itself? Yes, okay. yes it is. And Everybody's can recovery. the two be compared? Yes, I think that would be the goal is to yes. incorporate as much of that into it as we can. You know, like look at them side by side. See which goals are common goals yeah. and what they may have thought of that maybe not on here or vice versa or vice versa so what they brought right back. you want that brought back to us so we can take a look through that i think we should look at them side by side okay can we <clears> do otherwise that? why did we can go we, to verbecker right on that can we chunk of money on that can we put that together so are we, we talking can... about the goals in the actual comprehensive plan yeah and then you know, I should be able to, uh, they are there, I can. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be able to yeah. batch them up. Otherwise. Yeah. See what we have. Yeah, and that's what the, the work. Mm -hmm. on the number eight, that's where I grabbed these from, from that report. Okay, so, okay, so number seven, I don't know that we need to do anything on number seven, correct? So we can move right to eight here? Sure. Okay, so let's do that. Let's move right into eight because they are kind of connected. Number eight is the housing and economic development plan recommendations. And the recommendation here is to review the goal, these goals and recommend to staff what may be of highest priority, which is exactly what you were talking about there. Yeah, yeah. so that's kind of bringing in number eight here. So I, I like the idea of looking at Verbecker and, and saying where are we at, what we have, what do they recommend, mm -hmm. what do we like between them? Yeah, and on the economic development thing, you know, Julie said last month that there's a lot of activity going on in town, so mm -hmm. that would change how we even look at the Verbecker stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's been some progress. I mean, in just a very quick and because I was out of the office about half of the time between right now and the previous meeting. Uh, I can say when I last looked at this, there's been some progress on a lot of these items. I and we've been talking about these in the last year. Uh, it just sometimes it's good to step back and look at the big picture of these. Um, let me ask you a question, Tim. Would it help if, if any of us on the commission have time to come in and help you with some of this? Sure. Or organizing it or? Yeah, I think now is a good time for that to actually be realistic. Not a good time? It is a good time. It is a yeah. good time. Okay. So how would you like that set up? Would you like us to set some time where someone can come in or what would work better? So we're not just kind of stepping in when you're in the middle of things. Oh, I think that once we get through the assessments of this next month, I should be able to be very accommodating with that. Uh, I mean, okay, reasonably, if there's if the time is open. Yeah, I've got a couple hours. Can I help you with something? Can sure. And you're good with that. Yes. Okay. Yep, that'd be appreciated. So yeah, I'd like to see us starting to move forward on some of this. We've been talking about it for a while. Mm -hmm. Like to see, see us get some progress made. Well, I mean, That'd we be don't good. know if budget's going to come up with anything right, right now. We don't know where we're at with it. So we're not actually reviewing progress today. We're talking no. about getting ready to review progress. How we, yeah, how, how we want to go about it. Okay. And, and I like your idea of coming in and if you've got the time, <laughs> yeah. that would be great. And you said you're busy for at least a few more weeks with the. Yeah, I think that we have board review on the 19th. Of, so between now and then, it's pretty booked. But Okay. So maybe after that? Yes. Okay. Victoria. I'm generally frustrated with the pace of 
we're not there. Moving forward, I think I've been on this commission for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. I don't know, three, whatever. And I feel like we're saying the same things today that we said when I started. Yeah. Where is where is a solid plan for progress? Where is, like, I know for a little while we had um, the lawyer here who was helping to um, digitize a lot of that stuff. And I know that took a lot of his hours and a lot of his time. But outside of what his efforts were, which is what we're talking about including in the comprehensive, what other progress have we made towards bringing the zones to the commission to review, towards showing the progress on the housing plan? Like I, we talk and talk and talk about it, but it doesn't come before us to review. Can we do this? Can we put together a timeline at when we're gonna start reviewing? Like we, we talked about before doing sections. Can you start a timeline? Like next month we'll start taking a look at it. Whatever section. I think that's the whole point of Mother. bringing this back is just to make sure that it stays front and center in the. Uh, yeah, but can we put it down on a timeline so, like Victoria said, so we can start seeing that we're making some progress on it? We need an actionable plan. Yeah, something to say. Hey, this this week or this month we're doing looking at this part. Next month we'll take a look at the next section. Something in that kind of line. If there's if it's informed, sure. Okay. You know, I can say, because I, I was around here in 2011, and right. I remember working on this. Um, it is very arduous. Yes. Uh, because you're trying to encompass what you think everybody in the city is interested in. I Yeah, I do not demean the difficulty of the progress. My challenge is, is that we keep talking about the difficulty of the progress without actually digging some holes in and getting some work done. Mm -hmm. And it's usually economic. You know, because prior to Tim was one day, she didn't have time. You know, it was, it, it was time and money to spend to do some of the basic work. There's always something that inhibits the time of a, a zoning person. Yeah. But could we start putting together some kind of a schedule when we're going to look at? Yeah, I think that outlining something like that's a great place to start with this. Okay. And I mean, because I, I'm agree with you, I, they, I they to see us make some progress. As you can see, they have a schedule in here that is usually like one to three years or yeah. whereabouts. But we've, I mean, we've gone through uh, a good chunk of that already mm -hmm. since this was this was beginning of like I think council approved January of twenty three. Uh, we've yeah. been through about two calendar years, and I guess that regrouping and seeing where we're at is probably the natural progression for okay. like this. Yeah. But like I said, I'd, I'd like to see, okay, we're going to start working on this section, like starting next month, we're going to start taking a look and seeing That's how we're going to. Is that Sue, is her name, the gal that is going to help with some of the, like the tour stuff to give you more time? Oh, with my like, community team. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. I think with community team and uh, yes. Some so you some of your time will be freed up then do you believe that's the hope yes okay with that yes at least we get some plan in place something that we yep do. i agree okay yeah i'd like to see that then if you need some help from me let me know okay we'll we'll get some some plan of how we're going to start attacking and actually making progress so Tim said, do you still have a couple of weeks before you'll have some time to start working on this? Well, I think that once we yeah get through the assessment portion, that that will oh, that's okay. currently been yeah. the uh, yep. That's right. Yeah. So after the nineteenth. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Till the end of the year, maybe or. That's that currently would hope that yes. Okay. okay. All right. So we can after the nineteenth, that gives us enough time to put something together for the next meeting. Mm -hmm. at least to say we're going to look at this uh, for now yes okay and i think that rubicker also that report also provided some timelines also as i recall yep i remember that not, not necessarily kind of how long it would take to do these things right yeah somewhere somewhere year two year five year yeah. Time, mm -hmm. yeah time frames so we got to start moving those time frames yeah making them happen Okay. Any other comments on that? So all in agreement with you on that. Okay. All right. Did you need us to do any more than that, or is that I think we're good, good now? Okay. All right. 
Then we can move on to item number nine, old business. Used to put old business back on the future agenda for further discussion or to make a motion for reconsideration of an item that was recently tabled, which we don't have anything tabled. Any old business? On to item number 10. I'm working on that. Um, the RR1 ordinance. I made a lot of progress. I just didn't couldn't get it for tonight. tonight. Okay. Very likely next month. Okay. Just okay. So, so that'll be coming up. And we'll put that on the agenda if it's yeah. if it's ready. I'll get we'll get that on. I just wanted to let you know that in case you were looking for that. <laughs> okay. Kind of, but <laughs> I figured it was going to take a little time. All right. Uh, item number 10 is new business. Very similar, but to put new items on in the future agenda. You can always contact me and let me know, too. But any new items? Our next meeting date will be November 26th, um, 2024. And with that, we're at item number 12. I move that we adjourn this meeting. I'll second that. All right, motion and second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? And we're closed. Thank you. Wow. You have a post? Yeah, I mean, it's an absolute crazy. Wild. Well, you so know. you know all about the city of Berlin and where it's come from, where it's going. No, 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 I haven't been here that long. Let's